All right, so we want to prove the triangle inequality. This is really important. This is like the most important thing in analysis, I think, the triangle inequality. Um, so how do we prove this? Um, 1 dash 3 says x minus y is going to be less than or equal to x plus y. And therefore, if you take z minus x, well, this is the same thing as z minus y plus y minus x, because we've just subtracted y and added y, which gives you 0. But now we can combine these things and group them together, and then we can just apply this inequality here, and so this is going to be less than z minus y plus y minus x. And that, that's it. That's the triangle inequality. So really proving 1-3 is really the important part here um, in this exercise. But once you have that, you can prove the triangle inequality. And the triangle inequality is absolutely essential in analysis. You use this all the time. Because a lot of what analysis is about is, like, how close are things together? Um, what is the distance between between two things or maybe you want to sort of quantify you have some quantity and you want to know you want to get some information about it and so you want to either prove that's finite or infinite so you end up trying to find a bound for it and a lot of times this involves using um, uh, just the triangle inequality and so throughout I'm not I haven't worked through a bunch of the exercises in Spivak um, yet, but especially in baby rudin, this triangle inequality gets used in like almost every problem. And then you go on to measure theory, and it's used a ton, especially when you get to uh, Lebesgue integration. Um, you get to functional analysis, and this is used all the time. This is this is just this is like the foundation of analysis. It's basically like um, like they say, Cauchy-Schwartz is like super important in analysis. This is basically Cauchy-Schwartz, just in a simpler form. Um, and why do we call it the triangle inequality? Well, if you draw a, a triangle and you consider these as separate points, x, y, and z, then this distance here would be x minus y. This distance here is y minus z. And this distance here is x minus z. And so what the triangle inequality is saying is that the distance between x and z is less than or equal to the distance between x and y plus the distance between y and z, which makes sense because if you just look at a triangle, the hypotenuse will always be less than or equal to the sum of the other two sides in length. That's just like a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so, yeah, you could just like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just even just visually looking at it. If, um, like, if you sort of take this line x, just looking at this triangle here, you take this line x um, between x and y, and you sort of project it onto the hypotenuse. You'd get something like this. And similarly, if you project this one over here, you'd get something like this. And so the distance between x and z would be, well, you have these two distances, and there's like this overlap here where you're double counting it. Um, that's not a very clear explanation, but visually it should be clear that um, a triangle, uh, the sum of the distance, the sum of the side lengths of the two sides is um, always greater than or equal to the, uh, the size of the length of the hypotenuse. And... The reason this is so useful is a lot of times you'll have two things, x and z, and you're trying to figure out what the distance between these two things are, and you have no idea how to compute this. But you've done some things in the past that show you how to compare the distance between x and y, and you know other things that allow you to compare y and z. And so a lot of times what will happen is... In, um, if you want to get an idea of what the distance between x and z is, um, you prove that it's less than or equal to this sum plus this sum. 
uh, where Y is just something that you choose, and you choose Y in such a way that you're able to figure out what these two distances are, even if you don't know this thing. Um, and so that's a triangle inequality. This is super important. It will come up like just all over the place in analysis. And yeah, that, that, uh, that just about does it.